przejdziemy dzisiaj trzeci epizod Tales of Monkey Island. It is said that we are never so vulnerable than when we trust. But paradoxically, if we cannot trust, neither can we find our heart's desire. Guybrush Treepwood, trusting in his voodoo spell, unleashes a pox on the Caribbean. He escapes from Flotsam Island to pursue his wife Elaine and to find a cure to the pox that infects them both. On the Jerkbait Islands, Guybrush finds Elaine together with his arch enemy Lechak. With deep reluctance, Guybrush trusts his wife with the former ghost pirate and seeks the cure on his own. Hunted by the lethal Morgan Lafley, Treefoot must right his wrong by finding La Esponja Grande. For the Pox is transforming the seas into a treacherous beast. And the beast is hungry. Believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? What? I'm taking you in. I'm sorry, I'm inside a manatee at the moment. Uh... Look behind you! Oh, I've heard that one before. Oh. No i co? Trzeba było mi zaufać. Well, Tantra walked the bonny bounty huntress right into a trap. You have to admire her stick to -itiveness. She's out cold. Good. We need to get back on the track to finding La Esponja Grande. I'm gonna go find a way out of here. Preferably through the front door. Not the, uh, <clears throat> service entrance. I'll keep an eye on Miss Lafley. If she stirs, I'll give her the old scurvy buttons. I don't want to know what that is. An encampment? Talk about roughing it. Better go check it out. Um, hello? Excuse me? What is this? An adventurer from the outside? Who are, Who are you? you? I'm, I'm Guyver Streetwood, mighty pipe. Mighty explorer. De Cava, I've been looking for you. What are you doing in here? I'm on my way to a very important artifact to be acquired for a very important woman. I hate to be the one to break this to you, but you're stuck inside of an overgrown sea mammal. You're not on your way anywhere. Heavens no! I'm not stuck! Quite the contrary! It's all part of the plan of the ocean gods. The mouth of the manatee leads me to the artifact. The seahorses led the mouth to me. Just as I freed myself from the brig of Fat Island by bribing the guard for his bootlace, stringing him up with a pulley fashioned from a stale scone, and then growing at my toenails over the course of a year in order to carefully carve them into a lock-picking kit, I, Coronado de Cava, Dobra, nie chciałem tego słyszeć. When the time is right. And when is that? I'm on a bit of a timetable. When we arrive at the sacred manatee mating grounds. Oh boy. How long have you been in here? Years! This journey has been even longer than expected, but the exploration is fraught with unforeseen hurdles yearning to be overcome. You made a lock-picking kit out of toenails? That's right! You didn't try the tempt the guard dog with a bone trick? Bah! That's for amateurs! So I have this locket I'm supposed to give to you. Oh, oh my! I haven't seen this locket for some years. She's just as I remember. Where did you... What is this? Treefwood, it is I. Yikes. Well done. 
You have found Coronado de Cava and are one step closer to La Esponja Grande. De Cava and his crew will prove indispensable on your quest. And while the puck spreads with every passing moment, you must tread lightly, Guybrush. Years of searching for the sponge have made De Cava unstable. He was always a bit of a sensitive soul, so please, I implore you, do not mention me. Do not mention Les Sponja. And whatever you do, do not tell him where you acquired his locket. Where did you get this? Who sent you? What are you doing here? Look, the voodoo lady gave me the locket so I could find La Esponja Grande. She what? Mi tío, that two-timing soothsaying strumpet! Huh? La Esponja is to be mine to give to her as a gargantuan absorbent symbol of my fiery passion! I'm gone for two seconds and she's making time with a prepubescent picarone! No, no, it's not like that! Jeez, no way. We're hardly even friends. Right. A friend who she gives an invaluable sentimental locket. I bet she never sends you on any quests, either. Uh, no. I mean, from time to time she tells me what to do and where to go with little or no context, that but... sounds like a quest. She used to give me quests. I thought I was a special. Has she ever made you a voodoo doll? Oh, yeah, you cool. Uh, I don't believe you. Have you held her in your arms? What? No. I'm married. Look. I don't say a ring, senior Librash. I left it with my other hand. I'll kill you. I'm not after the Voodoo Lady's heart or La Esponja Grande. Then why are you here? Um, vacation. Is that so? Yes. Honeymooning, in fact. With your invisible wife? My very real wife. Uh, let me just go get her. I shall await her alleged arrival with tantalizing disbelief. No to chyba wiem kto tymczasowo będzie tą żoną. Winslow, I need to revive Morgan and present her to Decava as my fake wife. <laughs> my, that reminds me of the time when... Now, Winslow, Decava's crazy. Very well. I'm well trained in naval first aid. Do as I say. First things first. Take her pulse and see if she's alive. What? She might be dead? You never know about these things. Her wrist, Captain. Very good. Her pulse is strong. What's this? A tattoo of the name Gus. This is for Chugbender. Hmm. Excellent. She's alive and kicking. Which reminds me, next, remove any and all weapons from the victim. We don't want her thrashing about and lopping off any more appendages. No, it would be spoken. All right, I've got her sword. It's engraved with a name, Dante Dragota. Ooh, he sounds tough. Gomez, not on the carpet. Now, elevate her feet to help with circulation. Got it. Elevating her feet. Well, what's this? An assassin's ledger. Fascinating. Who knew bounty hunters were so meticulous? She still hasn't come round. A most curious case. If only we had smelling salts, that would do the trick. Narwhal's cannon. While it lacks firepower, it does look scary. The Narwhal's quarters. They're resplendent. Station passage. <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. Manatee earwax. Rotten and pungent. Perfect. Ooh, 
almost forgot. My pyrite parrot. I never leave home without it. Oh, it must have been jostled out of my pockets and washed away during ingestion. It's gone forever. Oh, yeah. Może się jeszcze znajdzie. Guybrush? Upsy daisy, moan adversaire. That'll teach you to take a legendary pirate at sword point. You lost your weapon privileges. Where are we? We've been swallowed by a giant manatee, and you're about to pose as my fake wife in order to placate a puzzle obsessed whack job. Oh, no, I'm not. As much as I'd love to play house with the Guybrush Threefoot, I'm already late getting you back to Flotsam Island. Listen here, you poor excuse for a pissy privateer. Any more than better you, and the captain will be sending your carcass on a tour of the small intestine. Uh, I guess we call this the good pirate, bad pirate routine. Oh, my. <coughs> I'm terribly sorry. I think I ought to rest for a spell. Must have taken a mouthful of something vile on the way down. <laughs> See? That's the pox. It turns people into whatever that was, and it's in the process of ravaging the entire Caribbean. Even Elaine. Okay, fine. But you have to do something for me. What is it? Will you sign this for me? Two seconds ago, you were ready to slit my throat, and now you want to hang me in your locker? Oh, yeah, cool. I was just doing my job. Give it here. Now, let's go deal with Cookie Coronado de Cava. You're my make-believe wife, so just act like it. Well, well, well. The panty-waisted pirate wannabe has found himself a lady. Coronado, I'd like to introduce you to my wife. Il Morgan. Right. So, as you can see, there is no way I could be romantically affiliated with the voodoo lady. I am a one-woman man. Sure you are, lover boy. If you two are really just wed, you don't mind answering a few questions? Do your worst. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but easy, girl. Together now. How did you meet? Uh... uh... We met, we through, met work. through work. Hmm. Where did you go on your first date? Uh, we, we went sailing. Went sailing. All right, that's enough. You believe us? Almost. Almost. What do I Ciekawe, co by się stało, gdybym źle wybrał. Just take a step forward. Okay. Both of you. Now, let's get down to brass barnacles. <laughs> Może te odpowiedzi nie miały znaczenia, no bo i tak by się tak skończyło. It's the bowels of the beast for both of you. Question number one. Who is her greatest idol? Ah, that's an easy one. Moment, mam ściągę. Nie no, mam tutaj podaną tylko odpowiedź, ale nie wspomnienie. What's this? An assassin's ledger. Fascinating. Who knew bounty hunters were so meticulous? This is for Chuck Bender. Guybrush Threefoot. Correct. <laughs> Idol is a strong word. Question number two. She is quite a skilled fighter. Who trained her in the ways of combat? It's engraved with a name. 
Dante Dragota. Ooh, he sounds tough. Dante Dragota. Correct. The third and final question. She was recently affected by the death of someone very close to her. Uncle Wap. This is for Chug Bender. Chug Bender. Correct. But how? Well, perhaps I was mistaken. You two might be married after all. No, VGs. No, it's all right. If a guy turns up in a manatee with your girlfriend's locket, a man has a right to ask a question or two. Now, about this sponge. The one you are not after. We're just sightseeing, right, honey? That's right, Pookie Pie. Well, perhaps you would like to join my crew. It could make a romantic tale for your honeymoon scrapbook. I'd love to join your crew. I'm gaga for scrapbooking. We'll find La Esponja Grande in no time. Magnifico! What's next? Stool sample? Wyczytałem, że gdybym coś źle tam wybrał, po prostu musiałbym zacząć od nowa. These sacred manatee mating grounds. It's the home of La Esponja Grande? That's correct. Ah. You have a crew? Are you counting your mood swings as members? I set out from Flotsam Island all those years ago. Four other brave souls, all of whom were to play a special role in finding La Esponja. I may have been a stern leader, but I love them like sons. Were you forced to eat them? I would have rather starved than see harm befall them. Alas, they perished in the belly of the beast long ago. The torturous demise. Oh, sorry about that. Sometimes I can still hear their screams. When are we due to arrive? Wifey is uh, getting antsy. Ah, well, I'm afraid the manatee has been lost for some time now. Lost? He's not a eunuch, is he? His plumbing is still in working order, but his internal compass is another matter. How can you tell? Around and around he go. I have deduced that the problem lies within the manatee's inner ear, so I'm crafting him a new one. That explains the spinning. How are you building an inner ear? I am weaving the husks of manatee throat grubs into a new cochlea for the beast. It's the only way. If you could bring me some, we'll save precious time. I'm on it. It looks like all we have to do is skin a few manatee throat grubs for the old man, and then build a giant synthetic cochlea to replace the missing one up in the ear canal, and we'll be on our way. Or you could give me my sword, and I can just cut our way out of here. I'm not letting you slice this poor fellow open. Manatees are gentle giants. Die brush. Back off, Susie Slicer. Easy. Whoa! <laughs> Ale zjeżdżalnia. Smooth. Thanks for the push. I'd never seen an epiglottis before. Drink! I think we just found the Kava's crew. What say you, digested scum? You talking to me? Yes. Oh, I, um... Welcome to paradise. Paradise? The land of ever-flowing relaxation, soothing tunes, and all the i you can stomach. Ew. What brings you down here? Just looking for your run-of-the-mill manatee, Coglia. Hey, we've got... The That's enough. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. And if I did, that would be a secret of the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? The democratically united Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. United we stand, together we party. And you guys just live down here? You mean live it up? It's our own little slice of heaven. Feel free to stay. 
But please, don't rock the manatee. Here's the plan. You charge Johnny Cirrhosis over there, and I'll jump the leader and eviscerate his vitals. The square playing the bongo shouldn't be a problem for either of us. Whoever gets to him first scores the kill. Personally, I'll be going for his throat. He looks like a biter. I don't think that's a good idea. You're right. I'll keep my distance and shoot for an artery. No, no, I mean, we can't just slaughter these guys. The voodoo lady possessed Takaba and said they were necessary to getting the sponge. Well, what's your plan? I'm going to go talk to them. Dobry pomysł. Mighty pirates don't talk. We don't have time to talk. No, sweetheart, this is what I do. So just sit back, relax, and let Guybrush Threepwood take care of things. Go relace your corset or shine your pauldron or what have you. Fine, but don't come running to me when negotiations fail. Come here often? Strong, silent type, huh? Guybrush Threepwood is the mightiest pirate in all the Caribbean, and LeChuck is a pansy. Say nothing if you agree. All right. Catch you later. Don't work too hard. Nie był zbyt rozmowny. Hi there, Guybrush Threepwood. Hola, I'm Moose, and that's my boy Santina. He has a name. Uh, yeah, it's more of a moniker, like the Santino. He's the coolest cat I've ever known. Ah, right on, dude. Can I interest you in a beverage? That's quite the straw. Sometimes you just want a quick rush of Icor. This baby does the trick. I really shouldn't. All right, man, but that means you gotta double up next time. Fair enough. Is there a substantial amount of lead in your drink? Nah, man. This is pure, unfiltered icor. I got hooked on this stuff when we landed down here. You're drinking it. You better believe it, and it flows in abundance, my friend. Tell me about icor. What sort of varietals does it come in? Any favorite vintages? Three years ago was a solid year. Potent stuff. This here's the orange. I dig it. It's got a bubbly effervescence with a tangy palate. Watch out for the yellow stuff you see in the pools, though, man. The stuff will peel the shell off a Nautilus. What's with the funnel? That's Jumbo Jimbo, my custom drinking apparatus. I break it out for special occasions. Like lunchtime? It's important to celebrate life, brah. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Fruit Tuesday. Woohoo! Oh yeah, cool. Sounds like he's busy. Ahoy there. Oh, hi. You're in charge of the tunes, huh? I just like to play. It relaxes me. I can relate. I went through a mouth harp phase. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. I'm Nugi. What's your pretty girlfriend's name? Oh, she's not really my girlfriend. Her name's Morgan Lafley. Why? You think she's hot stuff? Well, yeah. She'd chew you up like a pinky finger in a piranha pool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh yay! I've been thinking I'd like to join your group. Oh. Well, Bug Eye generally handles administrative matters. You should talk to him. I like the beat. How about something a little more up tempo? Like this? I dig it. Ahoy there! I'm sorry, I don't think I got your name. It's Bug Eye. Well, I've been doing some thinking, and I'd like to join the Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. Is that so? Yep. Although I'm applying to the Oligarchical Society of the Alpaca Farm as a safety. This wouldn't have anything to do with a missing cochlea, would it? No way. I just like the cut of your jib. Well, admittance is as simple as a unanimous vote, even for a pirate such as yourself. 
We're a democracy after all. Noogie, Moose, Santino, and myself founded our collective after growing tired of slaving away on the crews of tyrannical adventurers, always after some meaningless trinket. Like, say, a giant sponge? Precisely. We're never going back to our old lives. The Brotherhood was formed to make sure this adventure is a never-ending one. Down with the man and all of that. Would you like me to call a vote? Bam, bam. I'm a shoe in Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. Brother Noogie, concerning the initiation of one Guybrush Threepwood, what say you? Uh, no. Uh, no, I don't think so. What's he got to offer? Brother Moose, what say you? No, I gotta vote with my boy Santino on this one. An obvious no. Jak to? Przecież to było ewidentne tak. No, bro. And of course, my vote, which is no. Shocker. Not a single yay. This is worse than when I ran for class president. Piles of fabulous treasure. But what I need is a voodoo sucking sponge. Let me out of It's locked. The plaque reads, Fish Eyes Alabaster, anarcho-socialist pirate philosopher. One day I hope my portrait has such a fancy plaque, soiled and forgotten in the bowels of humanity. I can't reach it. Let me out of here and I'll spare your miserable life. Ahoy there. Now what? What do you say about giving a nod to old Guybrush Threepwood come voting time? Sure. Come on, what? Wait, really? You can have my vote as soon as you beat me in a pirate face-off. We don't want any weenies in the Brotherhood. Is this gonna hurt? Just your pride, Johnny Cakes. I give you my best pirate face, and then all you have to do is top it. Originality counts. I'm a pirate with a face. This should be a cinch. Ready? I'll go first. All right. We're ready for some pirate face-off action. It's Bug Eye, the Viceroy of Visages, versus... Uh, uh, Guybrush Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Let him have it, Bug Eye. He's got the... Whoa. Stinky. No, I don't know if I can give him a chance. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Do your worst, Guybrush. Show this egalitarian bozo who's boss. Now check this out. Here comes the Arr! stinky, lazy-eyed meanie. Ha! That's it. Yep. Did you miss me saying originality counts? Or are you such a pathetic pirate that you had to copy my face to a T? Really, Guybrush? Come on, I added my own flavor. You might as well have been looking in a mirror. This is humiliating. Oh yeah, cool. Mighty pirate indeed. <laughs> Ouch. Bummer, dude. It just slipped out of her hand. Watch, she'll realize her mistake and hurry back for it. Wait for it. Wait. So, pirate faces. Better go cop a few new mugs if you want to upgrade from miserable embarrassment to just simple failure. Moment, gdzie jest to zdjęcie?
O, tutaj leży. It's a picture Morgan clipped of me. I think this was taken right after I saved the village of Kaflu from a lava slide whilst constructing the cutlass. Or it's from a wanted poster. It's hard to say. Zakładam, że go nie chcę, ale zobaczę co powie. I think you dropped this. You think right. But what will you hang in your locker? Maybe I'll find a nice full color lechuk. Ouch. Ah, deck hand. Could you do me a favor? Shoot. Sure. I'm parched. I would love a drink, but none of that yellow muck. Dangerous stuff that is. Makes my eyes go wilder than a frothing Pomeranian. Okay, one drink coming up. Hey you, rebel rouser. Yes? Are you enjoying your time with the democratically united brotherhood of the Manatee Interior? How can I not? Can't wait to be voted in. We'll see about that. In the meantime, I don't want any trouble. We got it nice and easy down here. Okie dokie. Just some friendly advice. Don't be poking around up top and stay away from Dakava. The last thing this manatee needs is his sense of direction restored. We don't need to be getting to any sacred mating grounds. Seriously, I've never seen manatees mate before, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to be inside one when I do. I'm glad we're on the same page. Doogie, my man. I like the beat. How about something a little more up-tempo? Like this? I dig it. No i teraz się podnosi ten poziom żółci, ale z tego co wyczytałem nie zdążę tam dotrzeć. No właśnie. It's a ship named the Howler Monkey. Whoa! Okay. Doogie, my man. I like the beat. How about something a little more up tempo? Like this? I dig it. I should practice my best R face on whoever I can find. Można powiedzieć, że odblokowałem szybką podróż. No i co? Nie mogę tego tutaj użyć? O, tutaj. No, kurde, nie zdążyłem. No to jeszcze raz. Tempo. 
No dobra, szybko. One cup of horribly corrosive ultra toxic manatee bile. Delish. Super. Manatee bile, the ocean's natural solvent. Whoa, check out those peepers. They should do nicely. Sir. I thought I told you, no yellow. Those other flavors are for wimps. Are you trying to kill me? I told you I lose complete ocular control. Poczekajmy chwilę. O właśnie, o to chodziło. My monocular run off too, slippery devil. Hmm, these lenses are about the same size. Dakava's monocular now has a red lens. He'll see the manatee through rose tinted glasses or uncover loads of secret messages. Your monocular, boss. Thank heavens! I was going mad without them. No harm done to them? Uh, the lens was cracked when I found it, so I replaced it. How resourceful of you, crewman! Taking after old Coronado, I see. Ah, a mug full of the bily bubbly. And thank you for avoiding the corrosive yellow icon. No, nie ma za co. Check out those eyes. No, uh, oh, even the orange has gone foul. Never again. It's Eustachian runoff for seawater for me from here on. Ready? I'll go first. Here comes the stinky, lazy-eyed meanie. Oh, is this a pilgrim face competition? I could have sworn you said pirate. Let me show you. It's the Arr! nasty fish-eyed Gomer. Die. Gnarly. Cheap whistle has made it through the first round. Nice, but can you top this? It's the Arr! hooded cross-eyed geezer. <laughs> I've seen a tougher face on a newborn. Check this one out. Got the arr, bugged out, tweaking monkey. Well, I'll be. I've given you all the faces that I know. Unbelievable. Threepwood has beaten the high prince of the puss. Pick. Bravo. Now is the ombudsman of unoriginality. Unoriginal? Me? 
<laughs> if you say so, short stack. I beat you. Now I demand your vote. Is that so? Oh, I almost forgot. Forgot what? I've had this old thing laying around. Blowholes to Betsy. Could it be? Holy buckets! It's the bug eye! Rarely seen, bros and bras. If the challenger can't top that, this competition is over. Are you suggesting that I pull out both of my eyes? Well, extreme. He clearly broke the rules. Which rule is that? Well, there ought to be a rule concerning the use of the freaky eye. I put up a fight. Can't you just give me your vote? I stated my terms. I had no chance the entire time, huh? Took you long enough to figure out. Your vote, or you're a dead man. Resorting to petty threats? Good luck. Oh, I don't have time for this. I'm sick of your runaround. I'm sick of your silly faces, and I'm sick of... Whoa. Maybe you're just sick, brah. You, you yelly belly deserter! I've crushed the souls of men ten times as tough as you and forgotten them by lunch. You'll do as I say, or rue the name three foot for the rest of your very short life. No, it's a umiesz tak. Whoa, it's the ferocious uh, green demon face. Threepwood wins with the nastiest mug this side of the hypothalamus. Uh huh? Fine, he wins. My vote is yours, but I've got my eye on you. Nice. Doogie, my man. could really use your vote to the Brotherhood. Oh, I don't know about that. We got a pretty stable force in here, and I don't think Bug Eye likes you much anyway. Well, let me do you a favor. Like? I'll get you a date with the beautiful, dangerous Morgan LaFlay. Really? You think she'd say yes? To a stud such as yourself? Of course. Wow, okay. If the date goes well, you have my vote. Deal. In the meantime, here is a new member's manual. It might be worth looking over if you're serious. It's full of our initiation rituals, neophyte duties, etc. Hazing rituals? By law, we're no longer allowed to use the word hazing. We call them enhanced initiation techniques. Sounds delightful. One day coming up. To chyba będzie trudniejsze zadanie niż jakaś tam bitwa na miny. No ale pogadajmy z nią. It's not really the best time for this, but uh, how about that guy over there? Pretty cute, huh? Four eyes? Kind of portly if you ask me. Come on, you should go on a little manatee date with him. No way. I find enough romance for one day. Well, what about... Did I say date? <laughs> no, I meant reconnaissance mission. He's dangerous. My guess? Assassin. Really? Yeah, really. Here's the play. Shoot! It's a three-phase operation. First, you should... Interrogate him. Ask him about himself. Let's figure out where this low life is from. Okay. Second, you must... Take his hand. Test his grip. In case it comes to fisticuffs. Okay. Lastly, check for weapons. Give him a pat down. When things turn to duck soup, we need to know what we're facing. Okay. Okay, so interrogate, test his grip, and then check for weapons. Dokładnie tak. I've got your six. Thanks. Hey, 
Hey, Noogie. That was the date? At first I was really nervous. Yeah? But it turned out great. No, she was so into me. First, she wanted to know all about me. She was interested right off the bat. Nice. Then she made the first move and took my hand. I knew I was doing well. Second base. Mr. Big Stuff over here. And then before I knew it, she's got her hands all over me. It was awesome. The perfect date. Glad to hear it went well. So I've got your vote. Certainly. Oh man, I'm putting all of this in my journal. I even found a strand of a hair on my vest. That's going in too, as a keepsake. Getting creepy. <laughs> uh, sorry. Super, mamy kolejny głos. Hi. Sup. Think I could count on your vote? Man, that's a tough one. I try not to get too wrapped up in the politics of the group. That's the beauty of democracy, man. Let other people make the big decisions, and you can just ride the wave. I just vote for whoever Santino goes in for. See ya. Later on. Come here often? What's with the no votes? I wasn't the one who killed you. Was I? Catch you later. Don't work too hard. Skrzynie da się otworzyć hakiem. is pretty handy. Uh, but sometimes I miss the old opposable digits. Sacre bleu. The molecules are synthesizing. The formula is actualizing. Science! I am science here! La mort est tuée. Foolish mortal, you have unleashed certain doom upon all your feeble fleshy kind, for the wrath of Murray shall be very funny. Hi, Murray. Threepwood, I suppose I should have expected this. Long time no see. How'd you get trapped in here? I'm not trapped. Okay, what were you doing before you chose to hang out in the treasure chest inside of a manatee? Well, my legions of undead marines had brought an armada of Spanish clippers to their knees when a mighty tempest tossed our ship. I don't remember hearing about any battle with the Spanish armada. Ha! As if we would allow a soul to live to tell the tale. Would you like some help? Help? Ha! Help? I will end you. Okay then. Well, it was nice talking to you, Murray. Uh, maybe a little. Oh, yeah, cool. Come again? Perhaps. A lift. Oh, you'd like help. Let's go, pal. Ah, it's dark in here. And why does it smell like rotten marmalade? Hi. Sir. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Diwali. Woohoo! Hi. Sup? No, you should ask. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Pirate History Month. Woohoo! Who are we gonna freak out next? <laughs> Throw 
Reapwood, you have made the greatest mistake of your life. In my new corporeal form, I will scorch these lands to the ground, only to rebuild them in my nefarious almighty image. So, you like your new setup? I do. Santino, bro, you want to spot me on this one? Men pledge their allegiance to me. Our brotherhood is a bond forged in the flames of hell. North. Perhaps I will revel in this union of brothers for a moment. Before burning the world. Terror will come to this manatee, rest assured. Ale trzeba zrobić coś jeszcze. Nugi, my man. I like the beat. How about something a little more up tempo? Like this? I dig it. Szybko napełniamy kufel. Tylko, że to przejście jest zatkane. Much better. Well, better anyway. No, ale teraz już przejdziemy. Huh. Look at that. Somebody should really return this to their local library. Modern torture made easy. Yeah, I really hate to break a sweat while breaking the wills of my enemies. With a little elbow grease, I can swap the covers on these two books. Super. Wracamy. new members manual to the brotherhood you might find it pretty interesting reading is for the feeble oh, i just thought these initiation rituals might strike your fancy the first step in drawing and quartering your victim is wait wait what was that just going over some of what i can look forward to when i voted into the brotherhood let me see that <laughs> why that's positively malevolent look at all the blood yeah i'm not looking forward to it wait a minute let me see the cover. Ha, it's the genuine article. Too bad I can't have your vote. Aha! You should be careful what you ask for. Consider my vote yours, and your demise imminent! No to chyba już można zwołać głosowanie. Now what? Call a vote. I feel good about my chances. Very well. Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. Brother Noogie, concerning the initiation of one Guybrush Threepwood, what say you? Um, yes. I vote yes. I think he'll help raise morale. <laughs> Doubtful. Brother Moose, what say you? I gotta go with my boy Santino on this one. Yes! Roll out the red carpet and let it run with the blood of Threepwood's torment. Ready to rack. Oil up the thumbscrews! <laughs> Man, you're something else, Santino. I say, yeah, my boy's got an eye for character. Ah, fine. I vote no. Hey! You said if I beat you in a pirate face-off, I'd be in like Flynn. Yeah, man. I think you gotta keep your end of the bargain on this one. Oh, all right. But only to maintain the integrity of the Brotherhood. Bureaucratic ethics win again. You have a unanimous vote and a formal invitation to join the democratically united Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. Big! I accept. Do I get a sash? Or a button? No. 
Welcome, brother. Welcome. Burn in flame. You guys should really have butts. I think they'd be a hit. What you do receive is the honor of one of the Brotherhood's greatest responsibilities. As the most junior member, you'll be the caretaker of the cochlea. It's the key to our permanent vacay. You're just giving it to me? Got it with your life, brother. Cochlea procured. Uh-huh. We'll be out of here in two shakes of a pirate's booty. Sir, if I may have a word. How you doing, Winslow? Can I get you anything? Mogobile? I am well, thank you. I wanted to inform you. As I was crawling back under the covers, I came across something uh, unsettling. Not another outbreak of Polynesian bed mites. No, 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 no. And I've seen my fair share of disturbing things between the sheets, sir. Ahem. <clears throat> what was it, Winslow? I believe a threat, sir. I left it over on the gangplank. It came with a note. Something about this being what happens to those who try to interfere with the Brotherhood. Sea biscuit. Mmm, I love these things. And a seahorse head. go, pal. Whoa! I think we're back on course. I think I fixed your manatee problem. How about that? I felt the beast rumble and checked my compass. It says that we're right on course. Ancient manatee mating grounds? Here we come. How did you fix his sense of direction? Funny you should ask. I ran into your old crew. My crew? Yeah, and they had the cochlea the entire time. I just pretended I wanted to join their stupid club and... My crew! Yeah, your crew. Alive this entire time. Who would have thunk? You betrayed us! Uh... Yeah, I did kind of say... Oh, yay. We trusted you! Unbelievable, man. Look, guys, I can explain. There's no need. Ah, Bug Eye, the unlikely voice of reason. Breaking the trust of the Brotherhood has only one consequence. Expulsion? Oh, it's okay. I understand. Death. Kill him. hey -o. Morgan, doll, it's killing time. Excuse me? A trio of bloodthirsty mutineers are gonna pop out of that hole in three, two... What did I say earlier about running to me for help? One! I could use a hand! Ha! He wants help from a girl! Are you still whining over that little scratch I gave you back on the narwhal? Go time, Morgan. I can't just be told when to fight. I'm not some junkyard dog. Yeah, man. Treat a woman with respect, would you? Uh, the mutineers were calling you a pansy earlier. No, we weren't. He said you were a wilting flower. That sounds like Guybrush Threepwood. Look, I'm sorry about before. Sorry about what? About assuming you were incapable of handling the situation. You are capable. 
Now, please, show these mutineers your capabilities. And? And you're a mighty bounty hunter. That's sweet. But aren't you forgetting something? Huh. What? Oh! Weapon privileges restored. Thank you. Mutineers of the crew of Coronado de Cava, I would like to establish, for the record, that the four of you were just manhandled by a woman. So in essence, you've been woman-handled, which I imagine was not near as pleasant as it sounds. Go dangle your yardum, you traitor! Nice work, Morgan. Thanks, Captain. I mean, thanks, honey bunch. Now, Coronado, how do we get out of here? I'm 14 steps ahead of you, mijo. Here, this should do the trick. That's a unique formula of Panamanian prune juice, East Indian espresso beans, and booty breakfast bran flakes. A few drops administered to the creature's digestive system should be our one-way ticket topside. Got it. A few drops in the biggest bile pool I can find. And done. Quick, everyone on board. Hold on to your pantalones. don't have blowholes. What? Then... Oh, yeah. Yuck. Hey, about down there. I was a bit of a monkey's ass. No, well, yes, but I was going to say that your style's not so bad. Uh, nothing if not stylish. Anyway, I work alone. But you and I made a decent team. Hey, love birds, quit flapping your gums and get up here. My treasure sits mere fathoms away. <gasps> and my ship, the Howler Monkey. I thought I'd never see you again. I've dropped anchor down to the mating grounds and the cavern that lies Sponja Grande. Now, if only my lawyer crew was worth a piece of eight, star crew ever even had the temerity to expire. What's the problem? Santino was not only a world-class swordsman, bullfighter, and pastry chef. He was also, most importantly, an unrivaled skin diver. There is no other man who can survive the swim down to the mating grounds. Divrush can hold his breath for ten minutes. Is that so? Keen, huh? Well then, what are you waiting for, bucko? The sponge! And make it a snappy! Stuff in my pockets really weighs me down. Co jest w tej skrzyni? Well, let's see here. Six thousand doubloons, the jewel crown of Queen Archipelago. Oh, and a golden wrenchy thing. Score. Yeah, I think this is the manatee we rode in on. It looks okay, considering. Hey there, uh, manatee. All right, good talk. No, to pogadaliśmy. The ancient voodoo 
Artifact Preservation Society welcomes you to La Esponja Grande. Please stay on the path. Leviathan Country. All ocean life is dangerous. Do not approach or feed. Finally, the home of La Esponja Grande. mentioned the Guardian of La Esponja. What was it? A giant squid? They've been known to hunt and swallow entire Corsairs. No. <gasps> Megalodon? Devil whale? Worse. What then? Female. Giant. Manatee. A monster must be tamed, Chief Whistle. With what? A rolled-up newspaper? Taming the female is no easy task. Their fickle minds are the greatest of all riddles. Complex. Confounding. Beautiful. Spoko, damy radę. I equipped my crew to be able to communicate with the creatures. Alas, Santino was the only one who had learned to understand their song. You sort of put all your eggs in one basket, huh? Oh, what an explorer he would have made. Don't have some cockamamie plan for taking care of the Leviathan? Nothing. I originally spent three months fabricating a giant manatee suitor to be piloted by a crew of 15 men, all well learned in the ways of bestial romance. But sadly, they were lost during a trial run, gnashed at peace. Yeesh. Santino wasn't raised by giant manatees, was he? How could he understand them? Learned it on Flotsam Island, I believe, for the scientists. Marquis? Huh. Even if we could get the wings to work in our favor, I'm not leaving this anchorage. I've come too far to risk losing the location of my super absorbent prize. I'm sure Santino could understand Manatee, but how did he make those strange noises to communicate with them? With the tongue of the Manatee, of course. What's the deal with you and Manatee? It's a device that I plan to market to tourists such as yourself after this adventure was complete. It allows you to produce their sounds. Oh, so I don't have to put my mouth on anything gross? I asked one of my crewmen to watch after it long ago. Let me guess. Santino. Certainly not. His skills were not to be wasted on such a simple mission. It would have been one of the others, though I'll be slivered if I can remember which one. So one of the mutineers should know where the tongue of the manatee is? I imagine so. Okay, got it. Learn to communicate with the manatee and La Esponja Grande will finally be within our grasp. The Cava's Locket. Would you drink it or foil wrapped candy with a nougat center? Look all you want, but don't take it. Super. Now the arrow points the opposite way. This should be interesting. Or fraught with peril. Voodoo throne is plush, comfortable, ergonomic. No wonder she never stands up when I arrive. Now, ah, Lupsy Daisy. <laughs> she can't get up, but I need to talk to the Marquis de Singe. It has the picture of a fractured scientist on it. 
it's a picture of an incredibly handsome adventurer on his way somewhere. It shows a woman conjuring a curse. Hex me now. I wonder what this does. Come on in! Um, enter my mystical lair of voodoo. Bonjour, mademoiselle. I have traveled here to... Uh, hmm, pardon me, moi. I can't quite remember. Taking a break from playing around with my... <clears throat> with the hand of Threepwood, hmm? Quoi? How do you know of this? Are you feeling all right? You seem, how you say, bizarre. I feel great. Live. Never better. Uh, that is nice. I would be going now. Wait, while you're here, I want to ask you something. Do you have any secrets you'd like to share? Perhaps concerning Monkey Island? You mean that worthless rock on top of all that lava? <laughs> Nothing. But I hear the wildlife is quite cheeky. Will that be all? What are the odds of a guy like you and a girl like me? Zero! I will never compromise my science for a bunch of phooey and a pile of chicken bones. Will that be all? I understand that you speak the language of giant manatees. And I'm not referring to your silly accent. How do you know of this? Yes, I have a book that can teach one the language of these majestic creatures. May I have this book? I feel no need to give it to you. You will just tarnish it with your mumbo-jumbo voodoo nonsense. You have no respect for these sciences. Marquis, bring me the book of the manatee language or I'll give you an education on voodoo from the business end of a curse. <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> this, this is the sound of my laughter. <laughs> there will be no curse, because I am not believing in it. Tak, to zobaczymy. No, it is impossible. She could not have done this to me. I had the knack. Hmm, perhaps I will bring her the silly textbook, just in case. Whoever could it be? It's open. I have brought you the language textbook you have requested. My motivations for this act are meaningless. Take it. Oh, for me? Thanks, Mark. Put it there on the table. Now scram. Hmm. Learn the enchanting language of the giant sea cow in 12 easy steps. Wow. Who knew manatees had such an impressive vocabulary? Life suction. Not that I've ever done that sort of thing. What is it, Swabby? I can't wait to get La Esponja Grande. What? Why do you care about La Esponja? I uh, just want to get good marks come crewman review time. Ah, very well then. So, what you doing? Working. On? Plan B. Oh. Good thinking. What was that about the manatee Tungus Maximus? It's a device that allows you to sing their song. Like I said, I can't remember which crew member I asked to protect. Alright, 
That's enough. Shoot yourself. May I have a look at your files? As a trusted member of my crew, there's nothing I wouldn't share with you. Really? Go right ahead. Janky. No, ale jestem zaufany. Super. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, Sister Agnes, looky, sorry. Who had the tongue of the manatee or you get the face again? I don't know. It wasn't me. I can't remember, though. You've got to believe me. I do. But does Sister Agnes? Please. He doesn't know. Oh, all right. My face cramps up when I do it anyway. You'll never make me talk. I draw my strength from the Brotherhood. Tell me where I can find the tongue of the manatee, or it's time for Tibetan tickle torture. I didn't have it. I can't remember who had it, but it wasn't me. He's telling the truth. What? I didn't even have to do anything. Sometimes they break easy, like delicate Fabergé eggs. Look at him. He's a wreck. Just don't hurt me. Fine. You, Murray. His name is Santino. Santino. I'm throwing you overboard. Yeah, try it, Bumblefingers. Zoinks. Talk to you later. Be gone, oppressor. Hey Morgan, I know you're a cutthroat pirate hunter, but do you have any female insight into this manatee problem? You mean the monster? The same. This thing is colossal. Teeth the size of a ship's mast. Been killing any male manatee that gets within a flipper's lane. You know, she might seem cold and brutal, but she's probably just, I don't know, lonely. You know? Shouldn't she just stop murdering anything that gets near her cave then? What did you do when she showed her teeth? No, I ran away. Right. You know what I think? What's that? She needs another manatee to stand its ground and not be so afraid of her. She kills them because that's all she knows how to do. And if someone could overcome that fear of death and stand in front of her long enough to teach her something different, I think she might just let them. And then we could get the sponge? Yes, and then we could get the sponge. And then we can cure Elaine. Perfect. Talk a male manatee into standing its ground. Thanks, Mo. You're the best. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Hey, Mo. Can I borrow your sword for a minute? Just for a minute. Thanks. I'm sorry it had to come to this. Tongue of the manatee location, or someone here will never need a milliner again. Uh, a milliner? I had me. I had her. I'm cutting off somebody's head. You don't have the stones. Don't I? 
You don't scare me with your sharp, shiny stick, puny mortal. I am Santino, the incontrovertible demonic skull, and I shall... Three ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, man! What? What happened? We can't see! He did it! He's crazier than a sack of eels, man! What did he do? Santino's dead! Ah! I have it. Please, brah, don't hurt anyone else. Is this true? It's Jimba, the i funnel. That's the tongue of the manatee. I left it back in the big guy's stomach. I can't believe he's gone. Ooh, look at that fish flop. Come here, you. Dobra, wracamy do wody. Ojejku, jak się rusza ta ryba w ekwipunku. Ingestion and digestion has tossed the tongue of the manatee into the bile pool. That's a long way down. Super. Travel edition. Just a dabble, do ya? Whoops. That was, um, actually, I don't want to talk about it.
Moment, patrzę na ściągę, nie wiem co wybrać. Dobra, o to chodziło. The legendary Esponja Grande. I've crossed seas, survived an island siege, thwarted countless enemies, seven give or take, traveled the entrails of a manatee, and courted marine life all for this one moment. Oh, I thought it would be bigger. It's not like that. You are a backstabbing sponge and woman stealer. This is the end of the line. Really? Hear me out. The guy. I thought you swore you'd never serve another tyrant. In light of recent events, I've had a philosophical breakthrough. But what about Moose and Noogie? Where's... Gentlemen, this is why you always have a plan B. funny. Ow! Ooh, this must be petrified wood. For being homemade by a lunatic, these cages are surprisingly sturdy. Może najpierw oddam jej miecz. Your sword. Thanks. It felt like I was missing a part of me. No offense. If I could just reach that rope. Morgan. the rope holding my cage? No, but I bet the blade of Dragota can. Pick. Come back with my sponge! You'll never have the sponge or my lady's love! 
Moose, bring me my prize. Sure thing, boss. I think Santino picked it up. What? Oh. Oh, yeah, cool. Hey, they forgot the sponge. Pack the mizzen and bring her about. Yes, sir. Then empty the cannons on him, me hearties. Hey, Morgan, they forgot the sponge. Ah. They're coming back. Do something, Guybrush. First things first. There's no mast like a rubber tree mast. Quick, bring up another cannon from the hold. Sorry, little buddy. Resorted to hurling detritus, sir. Hope you're still hungry, fella. Pyk, udało się. No tego to się nie spodziewali. Now that I think about it, keeping that seahorse head in my pants the entire time I was underwater probably wasn't the safest course of action. No, dobrze, że się nic nie stało. Well played, Threepwood. And I didn't even have to run anyone through. Yeah, you let a manatee do your dirty work for you. Hey, look at that. Are they holding hands? Flippers, but yeah. Huh. Where do you think they're headed? I don't know. Wherever nature tells them to, I imagine. That's nice. Yes, it is. Dużo się działo w tym epizodzie. Ojejku. Animation. I need no animation. I live. How many numbskulls does it take to make one of these anyway? Ah, Joe Pity, the man who taught me everything I know. Everything I know about evil. <laughs> the testers. Sitting in a dark room with lava lamps, and they think it's heaven. Sound? I don't want to hear it. Maybe are you really a lumberjack, or do you just like the plaid shirt? Oh, Jacob. Marketing? <laughs> I sell myself. Jake, go talk to somebody who cares. Testers, all that pizza and no idea what kind of meat it was. Whoa, that's a filthy lie. This is my own voice. Kevin Bruner, he's been around forever. Go away, old man. Randy Tudor, I will end you. Like all 
these people had something to do with it. Świetne napisy końcowe. Ojejku. No dobrze, to tyle na dzisiaj. Do zobaczenia na kolejnych live'ach. Na razie, cześć, papa. Pa.